What's good guys, I'm Shadow Ravenous and this is The Irony of Gaming. Now, this video here is going to be a uh, PvP demonstration. I'm going to show you a few PvP matches and um, like the team that I'm currently using for the Maestra team. Um, this team here right now for this week is the, going to be the one that I'm using here and yes, um, it does have her entire team so far. Uh, well, the units that are available right now. These, this is going to be her full team um, that I set up. Yes, I'm using, uh, for the first one I'm using, uh, you know what, we're going to go here first with the ship. So this is the ship that I'm using right now because I'm using this for the uh, bulwark deployment. This is really good in really buying some time, stunning some enemies, and even attracting some aggro from other enemies to destroy this thing here. And I'm using this third skill here as well to summon more allies to the field to help defend Maestra. And also, if Maestra manages to get her ultimate off, these units can be really good in picking off the remaining units that, that are still um, surviving the attack. I'm also using Olivia as the operator because she has a really nice uh, set of, of, of abilities for this to you know add more damage reduction and I also managed to have this as the level as well to do to give some more AoE damage reduction because there are enemies out there are the enemies out there that will start a, like you know shooting from a range position and doing aoe damage which can end up like tearing through maestra so this is a nice bit of defense to make sure she stays alive and she completes her objective in getting halfway to the map now of course we're using maestra herself um maestra the one i'm using so far is i'm using the gear this type of gear set for her um, she has a five point. She has a five percent speed with some damage reduction and uh, ground damage reduction. Um, well, resistance on there, which is pretty good in helping helping and keeping her alive. I have the defense percentage on this one. Now I know that there are some people who ends up using the full HP set, and I've gone I've gone against some some Meister players who has the HP set, and it does seem to help out. Um, at times however in my experience when I end up using the full HP set it ends up I, my Maestra ends up getting destroyed sometimes <laughs> like she dies pretty quickly so I found that when I add like the defense along with the HP sets then it tends she tends to start surviving a lot longer than she normally would so i found that this so far you know this was uh this is a gear set that works personally for me now there's tons of other strategies that you can find and other and there's tons of other gear sets that you can use in combination with maestra and that can work and that's that's the glory about this game where you know anything like there's countless strategies that you can make up and there's countless units that can synergize well with other units so but this is just one of them this is just one of the strategies that i came up with um now her speed i have her i managed to get her speed uh like with the um the latent abilities which is pretty good and this will help her get to the map a lot faster i do have a range um damage resistance here because you know I need to give her some type of defense against people who are shooting her from, who are attacking her through the range uh, part of the map. And this could definitely um, help out a lot. Now, I know that I have like a hit on this one, but this was like only the, this was the type of best gear that I have so far for her. Um, I do have another set in which I do have another set in which there is there is another evasion accessory on here which gives you know extra HP but personally for me I prefer to have you know more speed but this could also work as well and you know I'm, I'm probably gonna do some more testing now and then to see you know which 
which one is best for her but maybe maybe the hp set could be really good and you know giving her more of a chance to survive but um i personally prefer like more speed but for now I, this is what i'm using her using her for on in that case uh so she's got you know pretty high speed so far but this is not the highest that she can get um actually let me check that out actually yeah it's definitely not the highest that she can uh that she can get but um yeah so far this this uh set right here will give her about 33 percent uh, as you can see here and having having this particular set will give her about 33 percent speed now i can make her even faster than this by you know using the blue bridge which gives 30 percent but i'm just counting on and i could also use one of my other operators like uh sysop because i managed to get a sysop with uh speed on here and he gives about 11 percent extra speed which does help a lot and Maisha will she'll be flying along with the with the uh the blue bridge ship with that 30 percent and then along with Plaga. Now, Plaga, she's she's very important in this type of build only because um, she she offers a lot of benefits, uh, benefits to the to, to the uh, Elysium team and also to CO units, and that's really good. Now, one of the things that really has caught my attention is that she grants the CO units um, twenty percent of damage reduction. Not only that, but she also grants a status effect resistance of 15% to CO units for eight seconds. Now, this is pretty. This is pretty good. Um, I like. I think that it helps a little bit when it comes to like facing Nayubin, and usually Nayubin he tends to like you know tear my to shreds just by being on the field alone because of his special ability to damage tower units but this could help out um this definitely can help out in keeping maestra alive when she you know helping her get to halfway to the map now she also offers about she applies an additional effect to the co units she launches the notes with the bazoon and her allies within range will including plaga receives an extra 10 percent of skill haste and an extra 10 percent of speed which we could definitely use her ultimate is pretty good too where she'll play the bazoon and you know the tone across the battlefield and attacks all enemies with the with the finale all and all allies excluding self receive excluding herself receives an attack of 20 percent of uh attack damage and a 40 percent for crit damage which is pretty crazy and additional and that she additionally grants a melody that increases the anti-counter damage resistance of 20 percent to elysium uh units including herself so this is pretty good and with the melody it lasts for 30 seconds instead pretty cool stuff definitely will make the will make the elysium team a nightmare to go up against of course i'm using um i'm using carmen and i was using i had carmen's ability as i think it was this right here that's what i was using on her now yeah the reason why she didn't have no gear is because i was um i was uh switching things around because i was doing like the inhibitor raids earlier before but um yeah so far but this is uh what i was using for her so she has um you know she's got like a full set of the cooldowns with an extra 11 percent another 11 percent uh, 12 percent here and the 12 percent here just to make sure that everything is running smoothly for the team and she's like you know she's effectively healing the units and including maestro if she's you know if she manages to take damage now i also have luna over here and what i did is that this is probably not the best type of gear that i have so far it's not the best and i'm gonna be working more on this type of strategy here but so far um you know what matters is that i just want the hp set for uh luna because luna takes about she um 
she takes she absorbs about 30 percent of damage taken from all allied units and you know that could add up pretty quickly and it could kill her pretty quickly especially if there's like aoe dam it's against like you know aoe damage units and stuff like that um but so what i managed to start doing was i just wanted to add you know extra hp sets for her so she'll have like 20 percent of the hp um of course you know this is not the best type of gear that i can put on her um i'm working on getting her an even stronger set which actually benefits her more which keeps her alive a hell of a lot longer but um yeah this is what i'm using for her and now i'm using lin zen and lin zen is very crucial to this build because lin zen i'm trying to make sure that lin zen survives a lot longer um i'm definitely going to change something up with this so she gets more evasion so she can manage to dodge more of the attacks so she can remain alive a lot longer but i but this is something that uh you know i'm gonna add more stuff in working with this but i want the skill haste on her because she manages to give at least four cost with her ultimate if you max it all out and if you summon her she gives an additional cost which is uh which equals up to two costs so she gives a two extra cost when she's summoned to the field and if she remains alive long enough this will allow her to this will allow her to use her abilities which then allows me to summon maestra a lot easier and a lot faster and also too the longer that zen survives she keeps me she gives me a steady income of cost of deployment costs which allows me to continue to redeploy maestra at nauseam and also allows me to redeploy any other units that tends to die or or if they're close to death like nayubin i just easily replace them from this now in terms of uh let's say uh now alex alex is really good as well i'm of course i put her in there um she's also the waifu one of my favorite characters so i definitely at any opportunity that i can get i will i will always try to uh fit her into this strategy into any of most of my teams now i've given her some uh defense wise i give her i've given her some defense uh you know 20 percent defense and some hp with that um it, she tends to do pretty good with this now personally for me i usually put uh, another set of gear on her with uh but unfortunately now you is using this type of gear set so far now of course we have shayna and shayna has a shayna is normally a two cost but for this week we have a you know a nice little discount right there so we can keep summoning her which is pretty good and along with all the other teams we can get her you know her skill haste up there i've given her a little bit of a more defensive role um i want her to survive a lot longer however i do want her to get get her to get her uh special skill out and also having her ultimate skill activated as well um, of course, I still want to, you know, I still have to work more on this by, you know, replacing this. I haven't been lucky yet to get the, you know, the evasion uh, version of it, which is fine. Um, I'll be working on that later on. But so far, it's pretty effective, and it does it does the job, and, uh, you know, it's pretty good. Now, now you've been, now, I put this gear set on now you've been. Normally, I would put this type of gear set on, um, you know, Alex because Alex will survive a lot longer by you know putting things on here by you know using this gear set but you know I have the range defense here and I have the um, crit damage resistance over here and another set of range defense and um, I got counter resistance for 15% and crit uh, crit damage resistance now I gotta say it works out pretty well with this now even does survive a lot longer and if if the enemy doesn't if the enemy manages to not kill Nayubin before, like, you know, before I get Maestra out, it, yeah, Nayubin will become a complete nightmare for them. Especially if Carmen is uh, constantly healing Nayubin. So, yeah, this is the team that I use. This is the team that I'm using for the PvP. And now I'm going to show you the demonstration. Um, I've already used, I've already did about five matches of um, of this strategy here. So we're going to go with the first one. Now, I want to I wanna go over the, the ones that I've lost first. Because uh, I think that this would help out a lot of other Maestro players or, play, or other players who are interested in this type of strategy and wanting to use Maestro but don't know how or what's the best method to do this so this is basically what i'm going to do here now 
what I was doing here was that this unit, like, so what I usually start when I'm doing this type of PvP with this type of build is that I would always try to get Zen out. But sometimes I would wait for the cost to get a little bit to half just so I can then summon her and then summon Nayubin. And then this will give me a better chance of getting a cost here by summoning Shayna. And sometimes I let this go to 8, so I'll summon her, then I'll summon Nayubin, which then I'll summon Shayna. This will give me, this will then give me what I need. Uh, so this will then give me what I need from here, and then I can just choose, okay, I have enough time to summon two units. I can either summon, you know, uh, with no tank, I can summon Plaga or summon Carmen to make sure I keep Nayubin alive. But then again, I wouldn't want to do that because then I would lose out on this buff here. So, um, what I was normally doing is that I'll probably summon another tank, which is probably Luna or Alex. Um, now, because now what I count on is that what I'm counting on is that, you know, when the enemy, they'll try to use like an awaken and whatnot. And as soon as they do that, I will try to use the bull, uh, the bulwark shield to try and take some aggro off. Now, this will also sometimes if I do it enough time, this will stun the unit. So now I'm summoning Carmen. So this time I summoned Carmen on this, uh, this fight, which might have been a mistake to do so because now they have summoned uh, Karin. So now I'm trying to buy a little bit, I'm trying to buy a little bit more time in, you know, trying to stop this unit. Just a little bit more time to see if I can get her there. Now, as you can see, Zen, uh, Lin Zen is about to be full. Now, one of my mistakes is and sometimes this happens, is that now you can see that Nayubin is about to die. Now, what I probably should have done in this is that I probably, instead of summoning Maestra, I probably should have resummoned Nayubin and then wait for another opportunity to summon Maestra by getting the whole other team to summon. So right after I had summoned her, it was uh, already too late. I should have resummoned Nayubin, and then that would have given us a better chance in survival. Now, normally, what another strategy I did was that I summoned the shield here. Now, watch what happens. Sigma automatically gets aggro by that shield, and she used her ultimate. So it's a really, so that's a really good strategy to use. Where you know, let's say if you got Rosaria, somebody who has a Rosaria, and they're trying to you know use their ultimate or whatnot, and if you can manage to get like even most of these units if you can manage to get the shield to go behind them this will then cause them to turn around and put all their focus on the shield activating their ultimate and wasting it now there is another strategy too where if let's say rosaria she shows up here and you manage to get that shield out before she does what she needs to do before she what will happen is she'll try to use her special and the shield will hit her just in time to stun her thus causing her to waste that special which is a pretty effective strategy but as you can see here Nayubin had already died and now my tanks have been destroyed which means that Maestro probably will not survive long enough for this to work So, um, yeah, so now is already getting killed and the pressure is starting to build up. But as you can see, my show was surviving a little bit longer and she was almost at the half, uh, halfway to the, towards the uh, map. But unfortunately, we failed in this attempt and, you know, some mistakes were made. So hopefully, like, you know, this type of fight here, seeing this and, you know, you can compare this to your own strats. And your own teams to see you know what's lacking and what's not and what uh certain moves to not make <laughs> so unfortunately we did lose on this one which it happens you know you're not gonna win every single match with this strategy or these type of build um it is a tricky it's a tricky like um, uh maestro's teams are uh, pretty tricky to uh get off at times because 
there's sometimes there are just teams that can just annihilate them and uh, there are other teams that just can't they just can't fathom on what's happening um now this is the second um this is the second one that i had lost so again now i'm trying to do the same thing you know summon zen then nayubin along with uh shayna just so we can start getting the buff active here now my mistake here the mistake that i made here um here let me show you this so that was a big mistake right here i shouldn't have activated this i should have waited until she got the barrier off and then managed to get this off in time sometimes i can get sometimes you can get this uh shield off in time before she activates her special or you could get it off now and then she uses her special completely on the um the shield itself So this time I summon Luna, and as you can see, Luna's taking a lot of damage. Now normally she would have been dead already, but I managed. But you know we managed to, uh, thanks to like that full HP set, she survives a lot longer. And now that Carmen's here, that helps her out as well. Now this is a pretty good unit too because you know she's messing with our skill haste. However. With the full team being out, like, let's say, uh, Plaga, she can help counteract that a little bit. But again, Nayubin was dead, was going to get killed, so therefore, it, you know, summoning Maestro was a bit too late. And now this is going to happen. Which will result in my defeat again. <laughs> So basically what you want to happen is you for this type for this particular strategy to work, you want to make sure that Nayubin stays alive. Because Nayubin tends to go further into the into the base, which causes everybody to focus on Nayubin. Alex tends to take care of the uh, you know, the back end, just in case if people try to flank other people and stuff like that and you know by the time my show comes out players are going to see this and they're going to panic a little bit and they're going to go to you know they're going to make haste on trying to summon other units to try and taste try and stop maestra and you know they'll recognize that Nayub is just a distraction but alex will be the second uh the second line of defense to try and defend maestra and then the rest of the elysium team of course is going to do what they do best in you know, setting the stage for Maestro's performance. Unfortunately for this, since Nayubin had died already and didn't survive long enough when Maestro was on the field, Maestro unfortunately will get killed, even with Plaga there. And so that results basically in our defeat. And that happens. But when the strategy works, it works. And it could be quite a quite a challenging and scary thing to go up against. Now, and now it's time to use the three matches right here to show you the three matches in which we won uh, this when the strategy does go according to plan. <laughs> So, I'll summon Lin Zen, then Na Yubin, and then I will summon Shayna. So now I'm using this as a little distraction to get uh, Shi Yun to start attacking the wall. Now as you can see, Nayubin is uh, still alive. It has enough health, which is really good. And now what's going to happen is Lin Zen, so long as she's still alive. This time I summon Plaga, just to make sure everybody's alive. Now when she activates that, there's something Queen here. And now I summon Maestra. And now 
the set the stage has already been set now you've been is still alive and pushing them over here so now it's just a waiting game and the inevitable is probably going to ha is basically going to happen now now this was really interesting here they summoned a Yubin and that was very surprising I didn't expect them to have one of these but always you know when you build this type of strategy here oh you want to build a team that you want to build a team keeping in mind that the player might have a my uh might have a uh Nayubin here and if you and if they do have a Nayubin here you can have you gotta make sure you have like a nice set of units that's capable of taking Nayubin down now thanks to plaga being here this will um this will no doubt help out along with carmen this will help keep maestra alive As you can see, her health is dropping down pretty fast. Now, without Plaga, her health would drop even faster. And now we tried using Luna to try and mitigate that damage just to buy more time. So now she's at, in her, you know, her safe mode here. But it's already too late. And Maestra finally got off her abilities. So now I can just recover what I've lost and start summoning units back there. So it's already too late. Everybody's already taken the damage. Most, the, most of their team has been wiped out. So now it's very easy for us to just capitalize and start destroying things. Having my units charge. Charge forward. And there's nothing that the enemy can do now. Even if they try to rebuild themselves, it's kind of too late. When the strategy works, it works. <laughs> so now, going for the second one. This is a slightly, uh, slightly different team here. Um, I, I guess like some are using, I guess, similar strategies, I guess, with a little bit of different twists to them. So again, I'll do the same type of strategy again, using Lin Zen and then using Nayubin along with Shayna. summon Shayna and then I'm waiting to see what his other unit is who are they going to summon and now they're going to use her now watch this I activate the, the bull mark and boom she tried to use oh well she did manage to get her special off but now I use this as a distraction now Carmen's here and Carmen's here to keep now you've been alive making sure that everything runs smoothly and making sure that Lin Zen survives she survives. Now I can summon Maestra. And now it's a race against time. <coughs> it's now a race against time. So uh, we now summon Plaga, which will cause Maestra to go faster now. And this will defend the other Elysium units, which will make them hard to kill. And this will just completely overwhelm the enemy. Now sometimes you don't even need Maestra to do that. They, like Sometimes this team will just completely overwhelm uh, the units themselves without Maestra and this will just you know you'll just be able to destroy them from the their ship and stuff but yeah Maestra is moving a lot faster she's almost reaching the map but uh, this team manages to uh, defeat them so it's always nice to have like a like when building up a Maestro team, always to make sure you want to have a team that's capable of finishing the fight with even without Maestro. And then for the final one here, which was a bit of a tricky one here, um, you know, again we're using the same method here. Summon Lin Zen. 
then summon Nayubin, and then Shayna. Now, this is the interesting one here. Now, watch this what happens. She does attack Lin Zen. Boom. So, Lin Zen only took a little bit of damage from here. Now, this might have something to do maybe because of like a tank is here, but even even when I didn't have the tank here, Lin Zen's managed it manages to, you know, she'll take a lot of damage from Maestra head on. I mean, not Maestra, uh, from Rosaria head on, but she will manage to survive the attack. Now, also, too, I guess it also depends on what type of gear that Rosaria has, because if Rosaria has, like, a full decked out gear of, you know, damaging counters and also effectively injuring uh, strikers, then that could be a different story. She might even manage to probably kill uh, Lin Zen within one shot, maybe, but I haven't run, run into those scenarios uh, yet, but... um. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of, I guess you could say it's probably a 50-50 at that point, maybe. But, um, yeah. So, now I'm, I've stunned her. And, uh, this is, you know, everybody's focused on the, the wall now, which is perfect because Lin, this gives Lin Zen a, a chance to survive longer. Now I activate Carmen to make sure everybody, you know, survives longer now. Now Yubin is still alive, which is perfect. So now I'm summoning Luna because Carmen is on the field. Now Lindell, she got her move off, and then I just summoned Maestra. Now, this was a little tricky one right here because now you've been was a little bit closer to death, which this was a little bit of a gamble here. But Carmen did manage to get her, her moves out, so and Luna can help keep now you've been alive a little bit longer. So it, it ended up uh, going into my favor for this. <coughs> so this was good. And Shayna is like having, you know, levitating enemies, causing them, you know, causing nice distractions to them. At least I thought she was levitating them. Now, even when, uh, you know, even when uh, Jisoo is on there, it didn't matter. And Maestro got off her, her, uh, her ultimate. And I resubmit Nayubin just to make sure that Nayubin has more health, I mean, health, you know, full health again. And now... This is where the chaos starts to occur. And now it's, it's going to be extremely difficult to stop this team. Now that everybody's here. And as you can see, she has the immortality here. Now, what you could do is when you have the immortality here, when she's here, you don't have to have her sit there. You can just easily activate Maestro again when you have the cost thanks to uh, Lin Zen which gives you another you know another surplus of extra cost so you can do this and you could just redeploy Maestro again and Maestro can, will completely ignore that you know that I guess you could say that uh, demerit that she has um, she completely ignores it and then she'll just move across the map again and you could keep repeating this over and over and over again so long as you have the cost and once she reaches that uh, halfway to the map and I just did it I just did that here just to resummon her again even though I know that you know the you know the immortality thing did that truly an insane team to go up against when the right uh, when the right chips are on the board But uh, yeah, that's um, that's uh, one of the strategies that you could use for uh, Maestra, and that's one of that's one of my uh, well, that's the mindset that I usually have when um, I'm doing PvP and I'm using uh, Maestra. So uh, yeah, if you guys found this helpful, um, feel free to leave a like, and if you didn't find this helpful at all, then you know feel free to leave a dislike. But uh, yeah, until next time, catch you guys later.
방금 손을 잡아주신 건 반응하지 못했군요. 제 감각이 무뎌진 것인지, 경계심이 누그러진 것인지. 어느 쪽이든 당신에게 호재라고 해야 할까요? <웃음>